What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your fifth uh, C tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over the if else if else statement. Now as you can see in the last tutorial we, I taught you guys how to do a simple test and if it passed the test or if this test was true then it executed a block of code but if it wasn't true or if it was false it just went on with the rest of the program. But what if we had just more than one choice just more than a true or false and we want to let the user pick a bunch of different options well we could do a bunch of different if statements but sometimes that's uh, not that easy so in this story I'm gonna be teaching you how to do something called if else if else to give the user a bunch of different options and they can do one single test and based on that test they can have a whole range of options to choose from so let's go ahead and um, get rid of this right here actually get rid of this variable let's make one variable called age age and then for our print statement let's say enter your age let's say we're making a uh, dating site or something so here's where the user would enter their age and in this whatever they scan whoa press the wrong button there they're gonna enter their age so we have a variable called age a print statement that says, says enter your age and whatever the number they enter is going to be stored in the variable age you should know all this from last time and so the if statement isn't exactly just the if statement we're going to be doing things a little bit differently so let me get my uh, here we go so the syntax for this to start out is basically the same you type if and then you type your test so we want if age equals and remember when we set a variable equal to something we use one but when we're testing we use two equal signs so if age is exactly equal to 60 uh, what do we want to execute um, there we go actually need your curly braces if age is exactly equal to 60 then we want to say um, print f and we want to put easy cougar since if this is a girl and she enters her age of 60 then we're going to output easy cougar on the screen but and to give um, our program another option here is the code that you need else if and else if pretty much means alright if this is not true or false we're gonna give it another option and we're gonna say else if well what test do we want to use now if else um, age is exactly equal to 40 then we're gonna want to give some instructions print f um, let's say mom since is this our mom we're talking about here let me move this up so you guys can see. Um, and again, the beauty with el with else if you don't only have to give it one single option. You can put as many else if statements as you want. So let's say else if um what do we want to test? Else if age is exactly equal to 21. That's perfect. I'm 22. So what are we gonna put? Um, print f. call me that's where we're gonna put so you use the first um, condition or the first test you put it in your if statement and then you write what piece of code you want to execute if the age is equal to 60 or if this is true but if it's not true this test right here and this test right here are two separate tests you can use testing the same variable and the last thing I want to talk to you guys about in this syntax if it runs through all of these options and these are all false you are gonna wanna give it one default thing so if it enters the age and it's not 60 it's not 40 it's not 21 then we're gonna want it to have it do something but what are we gonna want to have it do well the syntax for this is a little different instead of else if you just use a basic else statement and the syntax and since you're not testing for anything 
um, it's just going to be if all of these fail, then this is going to execute. So you don't really need a test. All you need is really a set of instructions. Um, else, let's say print f. Um, let's say if they're younger than all that or they don't enter any of those, let's say jailbait. Jailbait. All right. So again, let me run this program in. Uh, let me show you guys what this does, and then I'll talk you through it one more time. Hopefully, I didn't uh, forget any semicolons or anything like that. Doesn't look like it. Enter your age. So the person enters 60. Press enter. Easy cougar. And that's because the age was exactly equal to 60, so it printed easy cougar. And let me uh, run this one more time and show you guys what it does if none of these values are entered. So enter age. Um, oh, let's put 15. Jailbait. So again, what that did right there is it took the age that we entered. It says, all right, is your age 60? Nope, so I'm not going to do this. Else, is your age 40? Nope, so I'm not going to do that. Are you 21? I wish, but nope. So we're not going to do that. Or if you entered any other value, I'm going to print jailbait. So that is how you work with if, else if, else statement to test a single variable and give it multiple options. Um, I'm going to copy all this code to my website, thenewboston.com. So if you want it, you can just go to my website, thenewboston.com, and I'll have it for you for free on there. So again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and make sure to check out my next tutorial. And I don't know what we're going to be going over, but it's going to be awesome. So again, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.